Good evening and welcome to Epcot for video two of our day one here at the Food and Wine Festival 2021 edition. We're making our way over on the Skyliner because it is our favorite form of transportation in Disney World at the moment. Broke the day up into two pieces because it was a lot. It was also really hot today. The real field temperature was 103 plus. Do you hear it? I hear it. Do you see it? Anybody? And we're just gonna jump right into it. This is the Chilaquiles from Mexico, right? Yes. Which looks pretty, actually it looks really good. It's got chorizo. I love that chorizo. And Jessica loves when I say chorizo instead of chorizo. It's okay. You would like it warm. Oh yeah? Because of the, the, corn, the chorizo? The okay, so inside this El Tigre Margarita is Ojo de Tigre Mezcal with pomegranate, prickly pear, pineapple, and ginger juice is served on the rocks with a hibiscus salt rim. Look at that. It's is good. It? It's like refreshing. Yeah? Does it give you the face? No, it's a good face. Okay. Got cheese, chorizo, corn tortilla. Yeah, she was right. I like it. I like the mezcal. It's got like smokiness. It's a good meal. And just because it's uh, it's sundown here at Epcot, we gotta stay. We gotta stay. We gotta stop and take a look at this beautiful sky. Look at that. That is amazing. That is really really nice. Look at that. And because that's such an amazing view, we might just stake out this spot for the fireworks tonight. Jessica and JR, they went to go get some food and stuff for us from the other uh, booths, but I think this is the spot. This is gonna be our new backdrop for all the stuff we're doing here. Oh, it's so pretty this time of, of day here. Every single time, no matter what. But like I said, this is a pretty good spot. We're over here by, um, actually in front of Germany here. They got a couple of these little jet out spots and this is just kind of this little like circular shaped Thing. You know, you got a good view of the barges out there, and, and I think we're gonna have a, a nice view of some fireworks. Oh, and this is kind of interesting. I, th I think, you know, it just looks cool, right? So I don't, but I, I think it has a purpose, right? They so turn on the fountain, because I, I think the fireworks, you know, just keep everything from catching on fire. So they spray everything down with water. I think, I think that's why they do that, but it still looks cool. All right, so we came down the way a little bit over here by Tower 13 to, uh, get this view over on this side because it's a little closer to the to the exit where we need to go which is over by the the, the skyliner so we're actually we're right in front of france here um but it's still a nice view there's a if you look way up like way up high there's a tree but we're not gonna be looking up that high i don't think are we no no i think it should be good we should be good does that seem like it's a little close to that tree to me it just seems a little close whoa it just seems a little close to the tree Probably fine, but just just from this angle, it looks pretty darn close. Jessica's not scared, but her head is on fire!
joining us for Epcot forever. As you take your next steps into the future, that was we loud. hope <laughs> And just like that, that's the end of the night. You know, we went in there to do food and wine and uh, we ended up just kind of doing a little bit of it and just doing a lot of, I mean, other things. Just chilling out, fireworks, that was, that was fun. Seeing the fireworks at Epcot again. So Epcot forever, for now, until later in the year. Anyways, oh, welcome back to the room now. Look at the moon up there. That's pretty cool. Anyways, if you did like this video, give it the old thumbs up. Hopefully you did, as much as we enjoyed making it. But maybe we'll see you in that next one. As far as we're concerned, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs>